This brings me to another great um, rule for having a great sex life is don't let your freaking pets on the bed while you're having sex. This goes without saying to me, but I know that there are couples oh, that don't even kick their animals out of the bed. It's awkward. When they're having sex. It's awkward for the animal because it's like, do I join? What is happening? I just want to go to walk. Do they either of you feed me? I don't want to be in this situation. It's awkward for your dog, most of yeah, all. it's wrong. But, but I think that's a solid rule. Wait, cats? No. <laughs> for sure, cats. Cats are creepy because you know the whole time they're just judging you. Because they're judgmental assholes, anyways. The entire time they're, they're, like, they're like, that is not sexy, Dad. <laughs> That's, it's weird. Thank God I'm a cat and I'm not having enough sex with you. So um, so don't have sex with any animals. Yeah, no. Well, ever. At all. <laughs> but, but also, oh my God. That's just a rule in life in general. It is. Don't have sex with animals, but also don't have sex if there's animals present. <laughs> Oh my god. People in Oklahoma are like, no, Krista, you're going too far with this one. We thought you were a solid okey. Uh, just kind of like like that. it doesn't, honestly, if you've ever filmed yourself having sex, <laughs> you, right now, if you've ever filmed yourself having sex, you just had the response she and I both had, which is this. It's, it's not that sexy. It's, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, you're like, whoa, God, I was really feeling like I was sexy, porn star move, and I kind of looked like uh, like my leg was broken in that move right there. What was that? Was that me or an Yeah, exactly. And so um, if you've ever filmed yourself, then you just know. I mean, to like get out of the expectation that it's just all hot and sexy yeah. always. I mean... That's part of the fun of having sex is that it's it's okay. Hilarious. It's and it's hilarious, yeah. Exactly. That there's times where it was like, did you just make that noise? Or, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what was that? What was, that? <laughs> was that the bed? Just the dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> sex is a reality. It's a fact of life. And all good, healthy relationships have a good, healthy sex life. And so um, a healthy sex life for women doesn't mean you're just there for your husband more. Exactly. Right? Right. Claim it. Claim your pleasure. Claim that shit. Everyone's yeah. responsible for their own orgasms. That's right. Yeah. I mean, if you're not having an orgasm, women, that's your fault, actually. Yeah. Because you can't. For sure. You can't tell him what to do if you don't know what pleases you. Yeah. Can you imagine like giving a guy a blowjob? <laughs> I can't. But can you imagine giving a guy a blowjob <laughs> where you're like, "How do I do this?" And he's like, "I don't know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. There. Just play with it. Just do something. I've never touched it. How am I supposed to know, Dad?" Like, figure it out! I don't Can you imagine? Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine if a guy did that to you? <laughs> you tell me. Yes, down there. That's like, oh, I'm not going down there. Like, oh, <laughs> that's wrong. But that's what women do. When yeah. guys are like, tell me what you want. They're like, I don't know, whatever you want. Well, they don't have vaginas, so they don't actually know what you want. And I can guarantee you, for the most part, it's not motorboating your clit. So freaking tell them what you want, because that's what most guys do when they don't know what the hell they're doing. And story, boom, my right. job. Don't you remember we talked about manscaping and, and, and taking Lady care of... Ladyscaping. taking care of your stuff down there. So... You know, I think it's another thing to talk to your partner about what they prefer mm -hmm. you to look like down there. Because mm -hmm. for me, I'm always, I, it really is one of those things where it's like, if I'm in a relationship with a partner, whatever they prefer, I really don't even care. Unless they want me to go full 70s native. Then I'm like, I, I don't even have jeans, I'll fit that. But, <laughs> but either way. But it, irrespective of what you look like down there, you should always be clean. And I don't think you can have really good sex unless you feel clean. Don't you? Well, some people really like that native thing, and they like they they like being like on a camping trip. And that's it. That they like that. Like seven days in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not you. I don't go camping with those people. <laughs> I don't think people do that to each other enough. Absolutely. And so compliment don't your partner. Don't criticize your person. That's a given. Like, yeah. don't be a douche canoe. Do yeah. not ever criticize your partner, especially in the middle of having sex. Well. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, is it in yet? <laughs> when are we going to start? <laughs> uh, listen, it's really important that you watch this again, take solid notes, and understand janegwyn.com, PhD in human sexuality. If you have any questions about any of these things, um, she's available for <laughs> coaching. And, and um, we'll be back, obviously, talking about sex, only with this one. Love you guys.